Hello, Sunday, August 27th, and I have uh, the day off, uh, thank goodness, because after the last couple of nights bartending, and after the last month or so bartending, I am super, super certain now that um, Christian type people especially are absolutely zapped the fuck up with blue beam energies. People are absolutely losing their fucking minds. Religious people especially. And it's like, I don't know if it's because the mainstream narrative has every Christian in the world feeling attacked, or if it's because subconsciously and in the real game of life, um, the God of the Bible and the God of everybody's religious texts are actually entities of a feather flocking together to fuck us all because they all equal this reptilian Satan character. That's why nobody knows what the difference between Satan and the devil is. I mean, everything's so fucking confusing on purpose. But, um, the shit that is coming out of people's mouths is actually fucking disgusting. And, um, fucking Karens and these people will literally just pop off Start saying some nasty ass wild shit and then go, You need Jesus. I mean, it's literally so horrible to watch. And literally, last night I got into it really hard with a total dickhead of a customer. He's one of the reasons that. I was really excited to buy my little drinking buddies, my little men in Speedos, you know, Mitch, Brad, Cody, Josh, Chad, can't remember the last one's name, but um, one of these fucking asshole patriots. I like, I literally, coming from the, coming from the right. I, I love bands like Breaking Benjamin, Atreyu, NF, um, Five Finger Death Punch, a couple of my favorite wrestlers ever, Kane and The Undertaker. These people are badasses. They seem like really good people. Badass motherfuckers on the same side politically that I was on and I love these people because I know they're not pussies and it's like I wonder what would happen if you would throw them all in a room together and let them talk about these things I'm sure I'm sure somebody would see some red flags and start realizing what the fuck is going on but this jack off like I literally can't stand it I cannot stand to be around the people that I used to associate with. I, I really fucking can't. And um, there is just the biggest, the biggest correlation between Catholics being closeted homos, hating on homos, would probably beat the fuck out of them one night um, on a whim, you know, just go out and be super homophobic, but do gay shit when they feel like it, when they're on cocaine. Big bunches of correlations between Catholics, cocaine use, heavy drinking, some pretty, pretty funny shit. And this fucking guy has come in and been 
very, very homophobic and very racist as if the original Jews weren't black or something, you know, as if white people are something special. And he's hit on me. He's been a total dick. Used to drink Bud Light. Fuck Bud Light. I'm not even drinking Mick Ultra. Give me a PPR. Okay, pussy. So, um, he came in with his buddy and, um, was all coked up and decided that him and his buddy wanted martinis. So, I made them their fucking martinis and I hooked Brad onto his and um there's two white two white guys two super dark guys and then two mocha boys and I put a mocha boy on the other guy but I gave him Brad cause he's the darkest shade of fucking skin big deal that I had and I hooked them on their drinks and he goes oh my god why in the fuck would you put this on my drink? I was like, I'm so sorry, dude. Like, I totally thought that you had a sense of humor with the way that you run around talking, thinking that you're fucking funny. And, um, I just thought it was funny. Like, I got these, uh, you know, a month and a half ago on vacation, and I've used them a lot. You know, these have, these have been a hit. I have had so many people take pictures with them and make them their profile pictures and shit, you know? Like, chill the fuck out. He's going, fuck this shit. You know, I'm so fucking sick of everything. You know, everybody this and everybody that. And, you know, I'm a Catholic. I'm a Catholic. And I think this is disgusting. And I swear to God, there is probably, from being spiritually awake for, you know, not all that long, there is probably nothing more obnoxious to hear or see than some Christian, especially a Catholic, who is nonstop hateful and um, on drugs, because everybody's, you know, getting drug tested for pot. Nobody's allowed to smoke pot so that they're pushed to these street drugs and, and alcohol. And I don't know, man. Something happened. As soon as he said, I'm a Catholic. And I think this. I turned around and I was like, oh, you are a Catholic, are you? Well, did you did you not see the kind of big problem that you guys have with um, pedophiles? Pedophile priests. And um, hidden information. He goes, yeah, well, I mean, obviously, you know, there's a couple of bad guys. I said, no, 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 no. Why don't you shut the fuck up and go check your facts? Because actually, it looks like the Catholics are probably the most evil motherfuckers on this world, actually. And um, if you look, it looks like um, the Yahweh character of your Bible. If you even know anything about him, you know... If, you know, if you're not one of those just fake Christians like me who identified as Christian but didn't know anything, why don't you go check your facts and why don't you go see why the Vatican rapes children? Because it looks like Yahweh's name starts with Enlil from ancient Sumer and you should kind of work yourself backwards and then maybe you can figure out in your mind while you're at it why you're such a dark piece of shit and why you're sitting here snorting fucking cocaine and smoking fucking crack and drinking PBRs. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I got into a really big argument with this motherfucker and he wanted to puke. Um, None of my co-workers, my co-workers were like, get him. We are so fucking tired of him. We are so fucking tired of homophobia. We are so fucking tired of politics. And I really hope that every single bartender and server coming up on this fucking bullshit election 
shuts this shit down. We should not have to be fucking tough. We should not have to deal with this shit when we are working. Is people getting drunk, getting coked up, and ranting and raving about everything that they want you to rant, rant and rave about so that you don't shut up and stop hating each other. You know what I'm saying? It's horrible. So, um, I am, I am pretty fucking sure that because the God of the Bible and, um, the Torah and, you know, all of these things, because they're losing power, because they're evil and they're here just kind of trying to slice our throats before we figure everything out. I think that's why people running around with crosses on their necks and cross tattoos and hate and bigotry in their hearts. I think that's why everybody's so miserable. And, um, it's actually fucking gross. Now, about that Maui fire shit, <clears throat> I'm really trying to just not react or be sad about that on camera anymore. Um, and I'm really, at all times, just trying to keep my balance and keep my cool. Because it just really looks like they got this Ancestry.com shit up and running just in time to let you find your your roots just so you can watch them burn in hell and catch on fire and uh you know, take samples of your DNA and it's pretty pretty wild shit but yeah finding out that um Maui specifically is where my grandpa's family's from was pretty fucked up and it really did cause a chain of maybe maybe upgrades in me that I, I'm just going to be mum about but here's what I think so far about that fire I think that there are a lot of people who died obviously I think that those children were all home and everybody was kind of perfectly left right where they were for that fire to come banging them up, right? According to a lot of people, not just Indigo Angel, but according to a lot of people out there who can remote view and see the things that are going on that you can't say there is a gray alien base underneath Maui and I think that there are probably at least a couple of hundred at least a couple hundred people who are not dead I think that a lot of those children and a lot of those people were taken. And I'm not sure if it was underground. That would make sense. But um, when you look online and if you go see these videos of people's nanny cams in their rooms, you can literally see little fucking gray aliens come up on people and literally suck them through their bed. I mean, people literally vanish, just get sucked right down through their bed. And who knows how much time they are actually experiencing when things like these happen. And then whenever they're done, they'll just, just put them back like they were never even fucking like we're in a hologram or something and if you shift somebody's energy you could just whoop, right through a wall right through a floor right through a ground there is something much bigger at play than just oh yeah they microwave these people our governments are at 
absolutely microwaving people with their direct energy weapons. And I fucking have this really good video I'm going to pull up of this lady explaining this in a really, really easy to understand way. But, um, I don't know if they are all underground or if they are in some kind of a state of suspension. I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. I kind of, um, eat shit in pieces. And I kind of look around in pieces as to what I can absorb and handle myself without having a fucking heart attack. Because when I went through my awakening, and if you would look back on my videos of, okay, start down here, I made my little PVZ plant things, like kind of creating a little game board of introductory shit up to super knowledgeable people. That was me just mass grabbing. And then I had to go through it myself. Like literally this shit is so shocking and has been so fucking shocking to me going from I have no clue what's going on to I think I put together a pretty good fucking I think I did a good job on this fucking uh, PVZ cards because I picked a couple of really good winners from the beginning like even though Sethicus Boza isn't you know, wasn't particularly the most positive person I had a conversation with. I understand. I understand. And, um, that guy knows what in the fuck he's talking about. He really does. He suggested to me that I start from video one of his and work my way up. And if I want to go do his mystery school shit or, you know, whatever, he works one-on-one -on -one with people, and, um, yeah, maybe someday. I'm on a little bit of a time crunch, and that's just not my, my highest priority. My highest priority is getting somebody to call me the fuck back about, um, psychological testing. It's awfully funny. I've been calling doctor's offices for weeks, and nobody's calling back. It's like, what, now that you have bipolar patients, OCD patients, what's the fucking difference? I want to know the difference. These people charged up all of this shit and now they want confirmation. Now they want proof for what they've done. And all of a sudden, nobody's calling anybody back. And I had to, um, I've shielded my kids from as much of this shit as I could and I, I don't really talk about this stuff. But when I was going through it, they saw, they saw a couple things. You know, they heard me, they heard me saying a few things. And I had to tell my one kid to not beat the shit out of my other one the other day. And I leave and I guess my, my one kid told my other kid, she always sides with you. She's just a fucking schizo. And my other kid told me that. And I just went, you know what, bub? It's fine. Um... I don't think I'm a schizo. I said, um, I'm just actually waiting for anybody to, you know, call me back or want to have a conversation with me about all of the things I went through because, um, I'm trying to get it proved on paper, which I'm fully confident that I will be able to get it proved that I am absolutely not fucking crazy. I said, sorry that, you know, he has to feel that way. Um, but I can't wait to get the paperwork done to show you both that I'm not a fucking schizo. We're in a fucking video game and it is horrifying to go through some kind of a spontaneous awakening in accordance with a bunch of Jewish shit. And I'm doing the best I can so that hopefully... 
you guys and all of the other people in my fucking family who won't pay attention to me till you guys look at life path numbers and you understand that I'm a life path three because I have a fucking sense of humor and I would be able to wake up and handle how horribly shocking my whole life has been, why, and will be, and why. And I'm taking this on the chin like a little fucking champ. And it's because I have some power players in my family. I've got some master number life paths in my fucking family to protect. And I want these people to know and everybody to know how fucking important and special they really are. And um, that's it. I'm getting emotional and I'm working on balancing my emotions.